Okie dokie. In this mission, we are taking a look at using endpoints in SvelteKit. Endpoints run only on the server or when you build your site if you're pre-rendering. This means it's the place to do things like access databases or APIs that require private credentials. Pages in SvelteKit can request data from endpoints via the built-in fetch API. Endpoints return JSON by default, though they can also return other data types like XML or if you're making a sitemap, let's say. Okay, let's go ahead and build our first endpoint. I'm gonna do this for the launches, which is the index page data. I'm gonna hop over to VS Code. The endpoints in SvelteKit work much like the, the routing. So for the launches, uh, I'm gonna make a new folder and a file. The .json here denotes the return type of the endpoint. I'm gonna hit enter. Now I'm going to create the first get function. This is going to give us a return status of 200 and a body of hello world. Let's save that. Hop on over to the browser. And I'm going to go to launches or JSON. And that gives us the response from our endpoint. Okay, now to build on this with the launches data, I'm gonna take the code we've got for the graph CMS client on the index page here. Let's just copy all of that. And just have to remember that this doesn't go into a load function, this goes into a get. Go back into here, place this. And this is gonna be a get. And we want to return the body. And this is going to be status 200 and spell status properly. Okay, so if we go back to our launches.json, uh, maybe just need to hit refresh here. I have all the launches information from the graph CMS endpoint. Okay, cool, but why did you just repeat all that code, Scott? As I mentioned at the start of the mission, this is used for when you have sensitive information and you want to hit an endpoint, this will be on the server rather than on the client. So you can't expose any sensitive credentials like keys to databases and such. So what I'm going to do is on the index page now, I'm going to replace this with a fetch. Get rid of all this. Still going to return the launches. This is going to be a uh, async load. And now I want to destructure the fetch API, which is part of SvelteKit. And then await the response from the launches.json endpoint. I'm going to put in the endpoint here. I'm doing a logic check, see if the response is successful. Then I'm going to destructure out launches from the response. Well, launches properly. And I'm going to want to return that in the if block here. So now if I hit save and go check out the index page, it hasn't changed but we are now retrieving this data from an endpoint. So one last thing I want to do before we wrap up this mission is to use some environment variables for the endpoint. So in index.json here, um, it's not a good practice to be committing endpoints to source control. So that's my bad. What I'm gonna do is, is replace this now uh, and use an environment file so that's usually denoted with .env. And one good thing to check is that in your git ignore, that .env is in here. So you're not committing your environment file to git. How's that? And because we use invite, I'm gonna to have to prefix the environment variable with vite underscore Graph CMS endpoint and put my endpoint in here. Like that. Put that in here. Hit save. Let's uh, close that. And to 
access the vite variable, it's uh, imports.meta.env and the variable name, which I just closed that tab. So open that tab back up and copy paste that in and hit save. The, the squiggly line on vite here is just my spell checker in VS Code. And go back over to the browser. All seems fine still. Brilliant. Now I'm going to repeat the same process, but this time for the mission. And again, taking out the, the GraphQL request calls from the slug file here, which is right away up here. It's back up. Take them out from here and then putting them into their own file here. So let's just do that now. And this is the same notation. It's going to be square brackets, which is going to accept the slug. And this is going to be JSON again, and it's a JavaScript file. Create that there. I'm just going to paste in this markup and then talk through what's happening. Okay, so if we scroll up to the top here, we've got our big mission query. And we're doing pretty much the same as what we have done in the index.json here. This time we're bringing in the request and we're just structuring out the params.slug, much like we've done in the slug.svelte page here. Then we're using the slug to pass into our get mission query. This time we're wrapping this in a try, which I will do for the index.json as well. We're passing in the slug as a variable, and then we're running it against the graph CMS client. If it's successful, we return a 200 and the mission as the body. And if not, we're going to return uh, an error. Let's just take this catch out from here. Put it into our index JSON. And wrap this in a try. Back on over to the slug.json here. So if, if I save this. Now, if I go to mission and pass in a slug.json, I should get the graph CMS API response here. So let's go over to the browser and let's pick out the slug for this mission. Actually, I could just put in .json here and we get the response from the graph CMS API. Now I can repeat that same process as we did with the index page. So go on over to the index here. Let's copy this. And go on over to the slug here. And it's just a case of swapping out everything within the context module here, all the way down to here. And replacing this with mission. And this is going to take in the slug. This is going to need to be in some backticks. My name is to be dollar slug, which which I need to destructure on the load function here from page params. Then I can destructure that. Save that. And I'm going to want the mission. I'm going to, want to return the mission here as well. So now going back over to the browser and selecting a mission, we see that we're getting our information back from our endpoint. This means that we can abstract away any complex logic from the pages and put them into endpoints. Okay, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.